Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are uh, going to see about rising edge and falling edge. So what is rising edge instruction and how we are going to use? So let's see about that. So rising edge instruction is a pulse input and even uh, falling edge is also a pulse input instruction. So it is different from the normal input contact. So what pulse means? Pulse means on single shot. So normal input will be continuously giving an input, right? So pulse input will be one single pulse it will give. After that, it will go off. So let's see in the programming. So I'm going to take normally open contact and go for the detail option. Just give the first give the address of that. I'm going to give 00, zero and uh, okay. Just cancel this and go for detail. In this detail, you can see the default option chosen is none. So go for up. So what does this up condition means? Whenever this particular input is going from off to on condition, it will give one pulse. So since it is from off to on, 0 to 1, so this is called as rising edge. It will give pulse at the rising edge. So let's choose up and go for OK. Right? So yes. So since it is the pulse, you cannot able to see in normal coil. So I'll show you that also. Since it is a pulse, you cannot able to see the output here. But with the help of set instruction, you can able to see the output. So I'm going to set one more output with the pulse input. So let's take this as motor 1. That's it. So let's go for simulation mode. So just to watch both 100.00 and 100.01. I'm going to turn on this 0, 0.00. That's it. The bit got set. Even 100.00 was also on for a very minute second. But we couldn't able to see. Since I have used the set coil here, pulse is setting this particular output. So if you turn off also, it will be on because it is a set coil. Okay, so since it is giving one single shot when it goes from off to on condition, this is called as rising edge. So what will be the falling edge? So falling edge will be when it is going from on to off condition. So let's take the same input and go for detail and choose down. Go for OK now. So when 0, 0.0 is going from on to off condition, it will give one pulse. Right? So I will use one more. Instead of set, we will reset that particular coil. 100.00. Sorry, 0, 0.1. That's it. Just connect these two. Go for simulation mode. So I am turning on this. The coil got set. Correct. If you turn off this, it will reset that particular coil. So this is rising, uh, this is rising edge, this is falling edge. So if you are confusing why I am using the same input means, better I will use one more input here, 0 0.01 and uh, I am using that as falling down, I mean falling edge. So you can see there is a symbol, it is going up, that means this is the rising edge, it is coming down, this is the falling edge, right. So both are different inputs now. That's it. Let's turn on this on. The coil got set. If you turn off, fine. Right? Now, this is one more input I am going to turn on. So, it is giving a pulse which is resetting this. Okay. This is a pulse which will on when it going to off condition. So, this is on. No. 
so it will not having any influence now now i'm going to turn off this it will reset the coil so this is rising edge and this is falling edge so these two inputs are at most used with certain reset coil or to reset some you know timer or counter and all you cannot use that with normal output because you couldn't able to see and you cannot able to utilize this pulse with normal coil you can be used that with certain reset condition so i hope you have understand rising edge and falling edge concept i'll meet you in the next session before that kindly like and subscribe our channel for more updates thank you